Hi everyone, Twitch.tv slash GameCity here. In this video, I'm just going to show you my Sorcerer build that is basically invincible and has absolutely ridiculous damage output at the same time. So the idea behind this build is not having to worry about mana whatsoever, uh, having everything frozen at almost all times, vulnerable at all times, and having barriers up pretty much at all times. So it is a cooldown build. This is what your skills are going to look like. Uh, you could definitely mess around with this and do other things if you want, but this is the basic idea of it and I'm gonna show you my skill tree so when you're first leveling up if you're using this build you want to go for our clash first and then glinting our clash so that you get your cooldowns from your stuff um, for your core skills you could basically ignore it uh, when you're leveling I suggest picking ice shards first and then once you get to defensive skills you want to go ahead and put your points into ice armor uh, if you are still leveling, uh, having ice armor and flame shield honestly works really good too. Uh, and then I put my points into glass cannon and elemental attunement as well so that I get my skills back faster. And because I'm do and so I do a bunch of damage since taking damage isn't a big deal whatsoever with this. This build is based around defense skills and conjuring skills at the same time and just ig and just ignoring your mana skills basically. And and being able to spam frost nova because of it. So frost nova is going to be set to cause enemies to be vulnerable and you're going to have frost nova go off constantly so you're gonna want hydra uh you don't need to even to even grab one of these end skills if you don't want to i just have it because i had an extra point and you're going to want to grab ice blades and then summon ice blades so that your ice blades give you cooldown when hitting vulnerable enemies and then you want to go ahead and put three points into lucky hit chance so the idea behind this build is the conjuring skills have really high lucky hit chance compared to others stack lucky hit chance like crazy and then we're going to use the frost nova enhancement where lucky hits your conjuration skills have up to a 30 percent chance to unleash a frost nova when hitting enemies so the way that works is that every time you get a lucky hit you have the 30% chance and conjuring skills have high lucky hit. I have 90% on ice blades right now and then I have 55% on hydra but we will have even more than that so don't even worry. You're going to want to get this protection skill using a cooldown grants 30% of your maximum life as a barrier for two seconds um, since you are not using any mana generation and every single thing except for fire hydra is a cooldown you are going to spawn uh, the barrier all the time. When you have extra points later on go ahead and put some in conjuring mastery um, this is going to work really, really well at the end, and you'll see why. Eventually, you're going to have two Hydras, two Ice Blades, and like 100 Lightning Spears running around sometimes, and then it's just going to just completely boost the hell out of your damage. Once you get to Mastery Skills, again, for the basic part of this build, you could ignore them. Uh, mine right now has Ball Lightning with Stun on it, and I'll show you why. This is like for the advanced endgame version of the build but just for like the basic idea of this build you don't need that yet and you gotta go ahead and put icy veil barriers have 15 percent increased duration i honestly don't know if this is worth it because 15 percent of two seconds is basically nothing so i don't know i have it on but i might actually remove these points um you want to put points into static discharge but you don't have to do that right away uh just do it you're gonna want to do that later uh for the end uh for the end game version of this and i'll show you why at the end uh you have some free points if you want to go ahead and put them in these but uh, what you really want to do is you want to grab unstable currents and get, get it, uh, take it all the way to the end. And then you want to go ahead and grab these and get plus three in here and it put uh, at least two in here. This doesn't sound that great on paper, but uh, you're hitting multiple enemies at once with your shock skills. So this is going to just like keep making you crit ridiculously fast all the time because it's basically guaranteeing your crits over and over and over again. Now for the very end, I have it on overflowing energy uh, specifically to get my super back faster, my ultimate faster. Uh, Vi's mastery is also really good, especially if you feel like you're dying too much and you need the extra defense. I'm not sure if that bottom part multiplies and you end up getting 45% less damage to you or not, but if it does, that's insane. But it's also very possible that it's just giving you like 5% more or less damage when it combines with it. You, uh, I will show you the legendary aspects that you are going to need with your armor. Uh, so you're going to want this one, damaging elite enemy gives you barrier uh, for 10 seconds. That's one of the longest barriers you could get. Uh, you don't need it, but it is really good and will keep you alive a lot. This is part of the thing that makes you nearly invincible. Uh, when hit, not healthy, a magic bubble summons around you, makes you invulnerable. You'll get that very early on in the game in an amulet. You'll probably wear it pretty much the entire game. It's just an amazing skill to have. And this is the skill. This is one of the skills you really want to look for for this. Uh, you have one additional Hydra active, but Hydra's duration is reduced by 25%. 
Uh, the reason you want Hydra so bad, and you want you're gonna have two of them. Both of them have a chance to lucky strike with all five heads that are on them. Uh, and those lucky strikes have a chance to spawn Frost Nova, which freezes enemies, makes them vulnerable for four to six seconds. For my pants and boots right now, I have different aspects on, but uh, I'm going to show you the ones that you actually want. You want to have lucky hit chances increased by 10 to 20% while you have a barrier active. So you're going to add this on top of it. You're going to have around, I think, 100% lucky hit chance on your ice blades and your... Fire Hydro should be around like 60-70% when you have all this stack. Much stuff, you could do what you want, but you're probably going to want these. Deal 47% more to uh, damage to mobilize thunder frozen enemies. Uh, bosses, when they're staggered, that counts for them, and they're going to be staggered a lot. Uh, you're going to be freezing everything constantly because of the Hydras and your Frost skill. Uh, you also want this perk, Frost Nova gains an additional charge, but the cooldown per charge is increased. That one is really good. So... Part of the build is you're using the Enhanced Ice Blade as a thing where Ice Blades spawn a new one after you use cooldowns, after your 40 seconds of cooldowns is in your like rotation. So having two Frost Novas is just another way to get more cooldown into that so that they spawn more as well. Uh, I, I just got these new pants that have this. I haven't tried it yet, but it's also probably really, really good for that. You're going to want to use the two-handers because they have the faster attack per second and you're trying to abuse attack per second for your cooldowns and for the spawning of your super attack. So this is a really good skill. Extra damage when you have a barrier up. Amazing skill. And then uh, this skill, basic skills gain 18% attack speed. It can go up to 30. Again, awesome skill to have. And then critical strikes with core skills increase your attack speed by 22%. Another awesome skill to have. And then if you are you're using, uh, if you get this skill specifically, you don't need this, but if you get this skill, this is what's going to make you want to invest in ball lightning in your skill tree as well. Ball lightning orbits around you, but its damage is increased by 18%. Uh, if you're using your super, you're going to have like seven of these flying around you. All of them are going to be stunning because they're going to hit 50 attacks so fast. And then if you saw them, Ball Lightning skill tree, Ball Lightning's damage rate is increased by 200% of your attack speed bonus. So all of those attack speed bonuses are going to add up. So you have Unstable Currents on with your alt, which increases your attack speed by 25%. If you get lucky and get those same mods that I have, you're going to have all of those attack boost speeds up as well. And your Ball Lightning is just going to shred everything around you if you have all of that combined. But that's only if you want to be ridiculously OP. The rest of it, even without it, is still really, really strong. You're basically invincible the whole time. Um, for your rotations, you kind of want to use your ice armor first, and then you want, uh, once your ice armor runs out, like, wait till the barrier is gone, then you use one frost nova, and then you use an ice blade. And then one, once you, you're just going to keep spamming it all and make sure you always have two fire hydras up. Uh, even one fire hydra works as well, but two is going to make this a lot better and make the frost novas happen a lot more often. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to my Paragon stuff, but I've been breezing through the game. I'm just destroying everything in the higher level content. It literally just doesn't matter. And also in the skill tree, one of the reasons you're going to want critical strikes with shock skills have a 10% chance to form a crackling energy. You're going to want that on. Okay. You're going to want to have a couple points into that, and then also that's why in Chain Lightning I have it down here as well, so that the so that the Crackling Energies will give me my super back. It's the only cooldown this is even affecting, but the super is just so strong, I figured why not. It probably boosts the speed by like 20 seconds or so. Yeah, and that's the build that I'm currently running that is just completely obliterating everything, and I'm extremely tanky. I have a barrier up 99% of the time, and... I was using the Alts Ultimate for the cooldowns of the defense before, but when I used the Lightning one, I realized that every time a, a skill procs that would have a cooldown, it gives me a barrier still anyway. So it's like that skill is just constantly giving me barriers at the same time, which all of my stuff is based on barriers anyway. So it ends up just working out a lot. And also, it is summoning Lightning Spear a ton. Lightning Spear doesn't have a very good lucky hit, but just all of the Lightning Spears being summoned are also able to proc the Conjuration lucky hit Frost. Uh, they're also able to spawn the Conjuration uh, Frost thing over and over again. It's just crazy. It all it ends up just all stacking like crazy. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you guys want more Diablo guides, let me know. I will continue to improve this build, and as I improve it, I will be sure to show you guys.